In 1997, three brothers from Tulsa, Oklahoma took the world by storm with a catchy chorus. With the success of their first hit single, Mbop, Isaac Taylor and Zach Hampton catapulted to the top of the pop charts and became bona fide rock stars. We started when I was six. We've been a band for uh, over 25 years and I'm not even 33. It's hard, but it's but it's fun, and there's so many rewards in it because y you you can feel the excitement of the accomplishment. We started music as independents, and we developed that you know idea and that identity as we started our own label. And I think we we've really been in the ethos of being an entrepreneur. With an entrepreneurial mindset, these brothers were not content with just sticking with music. We've always been really intentional. I think we had the dangerous combination of believing the dream, trying for it, and having some success doing it. And I think once you feel that, and once you know that's possible, it, it opens up this idea that you can build the next thing. For them, the next thing was obvious. With a unified love for craft beer, they created Hanson Brothers Beer in 2013. We saw that craft beer has such a natural connection to the independent music world, where you have identity, you have story, you have passion. You know, brewers are surprisingly similar to artists. Like everything these guys do, this became a family affair. You know, Zach is definitely more on the creative design side. Ike is the big dreamer. I'm oftentimes asking people to take more risk and push things harder, <laughs> stay up later, go longer. We oh, disagree yeah. on stuff constantly. It's actually kind of like Congress or something. It's a two-thirds majority rule. Like, uh, I, I, <laughs> It's a process. We're trying to master, man. Conflict. Starting their own thing certainly wasn't the easiest way to go. There's so many cases where we could have rubber stamped the Hanson name and cashed in, so to speak. And we've always, in some cases, even to a fault, we've said, no, actually, we want it to be better. We wouldn't want that to be a part of our story. Like, you know, we probably could have made a lot of money on Hanson Pokemon. But for them, it was the only option that felt right. The thing for us has always been you never do something for the express purpose of success. It's hopefully the result of something being done skillfully and effectively. Because that way, when you go out and do it over and over and over again, it's not something that's tired for you. It's actually something that you're really truly invested in and care about because otherwise it's going to end up having mixed results. Everyone universally identifies with the fear of failure, but that willingness to risk is sort of what makes the difference between getting the opportunity and not. And so uh, if you can just get happy with the fear of failure yeah. and fighting for it and going, hey, maybe we fail. <laughs> That's about sort of the audacity of dreaming. Because of their devoted fans who love the product, the brand has been a success. So much so that they've expanded it to be part of something even bigger. The Hop Jam, an annual beer and music festival organized by Hanson. All right, so we'll start with Taylor. Uh, so Hanson Beer won a gold medal for beer before they won a Grammy. <laughs> Yes. It brings together the largest collection Ooh. of craft brewers in Oklahoma, as well as a large-scale concert on two stages. You have two communities that are really um, celebrating their own kind of sub-community, and when you bring them yeah. together, it creates something that's bigger than any one thing on its own. Yeah. Their goal? Make Tulsa a destination spot. We're essentially hosting the ultimate party. It allows us to shine a light on what we think is the future for a place like Tulsa. You can have an awesome quality lifestyle experience outside of a mega town. The event serves as a bridge for all of the Hansons' work. It's about community, the fusion of good local stories, great, great breweries doing great work, and then of course on the music side, we spent 20 years fighting for the same uh, issue, you know, which is the corporate music business. Today, the brothers are focused on all three of their loves, their music, the festival, and their beer, using the same North Star to guide them on all fronts. From the very beginning, we've said to our fans, we don't want to be just a song. We want to be a muse, whether that's beer, and a festival, or that's a Hanson album. And we said, if you trust us, we will never give you less than everything we've got. And thankfully, they've said, we're in. 
I think being an artist and an entrepreneur are ultimately very similar kind of combination of personality traits, a certain level of boldness and creativity and willingness to solve problems, kind of looking for opportunity and, and saying, oh, that's something I, I like and I'm interested in and I want to chase after that. I don't think anybody can predict the future, but I think you know the best way to see the vision you want for your life is really just to show up every day giving everything you have to you know what you're going for. And I mean, that's really kind of all we know how to do. Yeah!